I have a lot of students who will take my class after trying to find a technical co-founder and failing. And so they'll end up taking my class and they'll still be kind of searching for this technical co-founder and often they'll ask me my opinion about it. And I always tell them, stop trying to find a technical co-founder. What you should do is you should save up the money and you should hire a technical person to code your project yourself. The reason why it's so difficult to find a technical co-founder is because the amount of work and risk that you're gonna be taking as the idea person and they're gonna be taking as the technical person are so disproportionate. They're not even equal. A lot of idea people think that their idea is worth a lot more than it actually is. In reality, the idea is worth very little. What matters is the execution. And what the execution is, is that is gonna be what the developer is doing. If you're an idea person and you have a great idea and you do want to attract a technical co-founder without actually paying somebody to code, what you need to do is you need to go out and you need to not only test your idea, but also start getting customers. If you're able to come up with a service or a product where you can go out call people, knock on doors, and get people interested and take people's money as a down payment, then you can go to a developer and say, hey, I've got this number of people interested. I've already taken their money. I just need this product built. While you're building that, I'm gonna be able to go out and find more people, and during that time, I'm gonna be able to find X number of people. And then the developer is working and spending their time building the product, and you're actually going out there and working too. The reason why this is important is because as a developer, your development time is worth a lot. If there's a developer, especially in the US, they're probably making between 80 to $100 an hour at least. And so what you're basically asking them to do as a technical co-founder is spend months building your product on the possibility that it's gonna be a hit, but without any actual like proof. So. The developer will be taking on all the risk while you just sit around really doing nothing. And that's why it doesn't make sense. But on the other hand, if you're going out and you're finding a bunch of customers and you're taking a bunch of money, there's really no need to give up equity to somebody else. What you can do is take that money from people who want your services and hire a developer and then own all of the equity yourself. That way you have the entire product. So. There is very few instances where, you'll be want, where you're gonna want to find a technical co-founder. Sometimes it works out that way. You have a friend who codes, you do wireframes, mockups, you do idea, you do the other stuff and you're working together. But if you're the person with the idea, you should not be searching for a technical co-founder. Go out, do the work yourself, hire somebody and actually make the product.